Electric vehicles are best known for their efficiency and environmental friendliness. But simply say the words ludicrous mode or see cars like this Porsche Taycan and you'll quickly learn that performance is a big part of the EV equation too. Well, recently our over the edge reporter Greg Carlos got a chance to sample an EV that takes high performance out of the commuter lane and onto the fast track. Many racing fans come to the track simply for the sound of the cars. But this race team generates a buzz by making hardly any noise at all. I'm Charlie Greenhouse and uh, I'm the owner and operator of Entropy Racing. Uh, we've been fielding, renting, servicing and supporting race cars since the late 1980s. Charlie's cars were, like most, powered by internal combustion engines until the idea of the Electric Vehicle Sports Racer, or EVSR, program came about. In 2013, we had a customer who was interested in seeing a project like this happen, so we decided to uh, take him up on his offer, and then within three months, we had a car on track. The first generation was based on a popular sports racing car, heavily modified to make room for the power plant and battery packs. But in 2020, Entropy introduced this second gen car with a complete redesign of the safety cage and battery container, as well as a brand new single piece body designed and constructed in house at their Pennsylvania headquarters. Right now, it can, uh, in qualifying trim, run about 220, 225 horsepower. It weighs 1,850 pounds without driver, a longitudinal motor, and we're running a, a 27, 28 kilowatt hour pack uh, with lithium ferrous phosphate. Here on Summit Point's main circuit, there's enough juice for about 25 minutes of racing, which they pull from these level two chargers. They can run with anybody. Uh, as shown, they run with a rule set that we created for them to run with the, the SURFs, the Spec Racer Ford, traditional SECA class, uh, but also in bracket where you get a mixture of big bore cars, big V8, ground pounder cars, uh, Miatas, and you name it. It's all out there and they can run equally with any of them. Well, it's a completely different experience, um, but if I had to compare it to something, uh, I'd have to I'd, I'd compare it to something that's slower than us, but kind of like a spec Miata. It's a momentum car, pulls a lot of G's, corner speeds are the key. In qualifying today, I, I have a, a V8, you know, NASCAR truck behind me, and there's a, a GT, modern GT Mustang, you know, great, both of them sound great, but I'm willing to bet that at the end of the race today, we'll, we will finish ahead of them. One of the surprises early on was that we could hear our competitors so well that we could make decisions and hear their intent in a car. As soon as he lifts, we know we can take the corner and we can own it. When you put your heart and soul into building race cars from the ground up, they become your children, which means you get to name them. Behind me, we have Ohm, and I'll be driving Blinky. Ironically, putting on all the safety gear always makes me uneasy. But behind the wheel, I'm charged with excitement. Feeling good, confident, but not too confident, just the right amount of confident. And out on the track, that confidence grows as Charlie and I carve up the course. Charlie was not kidding. It's very easy to drive and there's just no roll. I mean, this thing is a race car. <laughs> That's just flat out right through there. <laughs> Don't get to do that very often. And there goes Charlie. So clearly, these cars have a little more power than I'm getting right now. Still, these aren't zero to 60 sprinters. They're bona fide road course racers. And after a quick victory lap, woo -hoo -hoo! yeah, it was time to climb out and plug in. What's that? You want one? I want one. We can arrange that. Okay. <laughs> Pull off that helmet. Let's sign the contract. With three more currently being built, Charlie plans to rent and even sell his cars, all while promoting EVSR's core mission. Plug it in, kick gas. Um, we're really, we're really happy. I mean, it's, it's early on, we weren't very well accepted and as time has gone on and we finished race after race, people are understanding that we are just part of the racing community and we're an important part, but it's gonna grow and it's gonna keep growing.